Hi Pisces, welcome back to Clear Compassion. This is Deirdre and I am here with Spirit to bring you lots of love, light, and clarity from the divine. Please take the messages that honor your highest good and leave that which does not resonate. All right, we are jumping right into our Soul Helper Oracle. So this is about a healing message for you, right? Messages from your higher self. Something that might be hidden, something that might be a surprise, or something that you just need to know at this moment. So Spirit, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what is it you will need Pisces to be aware of at this time. Follow the path of your soul. Beautiful. So don't allow anyone or anything to stop you right now. Okay? This is about you making sure that you are connected with your own higher self and what your true desires are. However, there is this fire that has to be inside of you. And it's uh, a lot of times they call it the dragon and the dragon's fire helps you bring out your own pure truth so that you can see through your own eyes the love of things that you have for others and also to manifest something that is along your soul path and this fire that's inside you will wash away the darkness and the shadow. So here you're gonna be following the path of your soul through this process. And in doing so, when you have that pure truth, this is not allowing anyone or anything to stop you. And I, again, yesterday's message was about not making any decisions for about eight days. So you're only on day seven now. And the reason why is because you are opening up and you are releasing the dark side and the shadow and then this illumination is going to take place i like to call this your crown chakra this opening of the crown chakra allows you to make wise choices so taking this pause right now without making decisions is important because there's something that's going to be illuminated within you and when that occurs you will stand in your ground of your pure truth and not let anybody take you off your, your soul's path. All right, so thank you for that spirit. Now let's go ahead and see what our archangels and ascended masters have to say. I've already pre-shuffled these cards a couple of times. So since they're so difficult for my small little hands, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in here. Please, Spirit, please provide us with the messages you have for our Pisces. Okay, yes. So during this time of not making any decisions, Archangel Raziel wants you to meditate. Okay, so this is about bringing these insights in, in a form of meditation where you are calm. You are one with yourself. And again, as you can see here, right? Look at this, your crown chakra. Look at this, illumination. It's not just spiritual. This is your spiritual self awakening through this meditation process. Very important at this time because it's going to bring you this mental enthusiasm. All right, let's keep going. Ta-da! The star. Again, everything is illuminated in the crown. Okay? So have faith because the future is bright. It is coming to a point on your soul's journey, that pure truth of your own, where you get to make the choices and the decisions that are coming. You're going to solidify all your dreams. They're going to come true because you're going to have these positive changes that bring this new enlightenment, this new mindset. And that 
also helps you with any challenging times that lie ahead. So there is light at the end of your tunnel. Whomever you are, wherever you are, stay the course for sure. You are almost there. All right. Let's go ahead, a couple more. Bum, ba, da, ba. Archangel Raguel. All right. So here we have your seven of air, seven of swords. Okay. Your truth, your intellect, your thoughts. Again, truth, intellect, thoughts, head, headspace. Okay. Think of headspace. But this is your body and mind now um, coming into balance with one another. And this is you running towards your peace of mind. Your personal freedom will come from this. Okay? So, very important that you stay the course right now. Make sure you're being honest with yourself because that is where the truth lies, the pure truth. Mm, then we have our knight, our knight of fire, passionate, okay, confident, charismatic, personal restlessness over events that are requiring immediate action. However, trust your instincts, stay focused. For some of you, it could be a new passionate relationship that's uh, around the bend here. But I feel more that this is about you once you have um, opened up that crown chakra. This mindset that you're going to have will allow you to be more creative, more energized. Because you'll know yourself that you're doing what is best for you. But stay focused. All right. Archangel Azrael. So here we have the healing of the heart. Now, Azrael brings you tender grace. She eases your journey. There's this uh, emotional and spiritual wellness that's going to come through. So Letting go of the past is just a reminder here. When you're on your new journey, it is important for you to be there for those in need. Okay? I know you're going to have a lot on your plate and you're raring to go and it's happening. Don't forget to stop and help someone. Okay, it, it's not about someone that is trying to distract you on your way to what you're manifesting. It's more about keeping your integrity intact. Not forgetting how hard you worked to get where you are and where you're headed. And when someone else has a little bit of a need Take time out to help. Help them grow like you're growing. Archangel Metatron, the dreamer. Dreamer. No, don't let me break out in song. You'll for sure <laughs> change the channel. All right, so this is about a new start. Trust in yourself. This new start, new beginning, more time. So this is like Metatron is helping you push your fears aside and allowing you to take a leap of faith. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start with some advice from Archangel Michael and see what message he has for us today. Again, the focus here is your crown chakra. It is about you opening up 
that little fire pit in your stomach to speak your own truth. Meditation, seeing the light, removing the darkness. All right, Archangel Michael, what message do you have? What advice do you have for all Pisces? Regain your focus, yes. So Archangel Michael is helping you regain your focus um, where like trivial life matters are distracting you. <coughs> Excuse me. And that is also the reason why you're not supposed to be making any decisions for the next couple of days because it's distracting you from your goals. And Archangel Metatron, it's funny because he's here with the dreamer and Archangel Michael card we pulled. This is... This is Archangel Metatron's symbolism here, okay? And this is Archangel Michael's sword. And Archangel Metatron here, he is telling you that there is a new start and to trust yourself, you're going to become that dreamer again. But Archangel Michael is also teaming up with him to allow you to regain your focus at this time. They're helping you stay grounded is what they're saying, all right? And that is the best way to make any decision that you're contemplating or an opportunity that's coming your way. There are some surprises that are coming um, for many of you and it, they just want you to be aware of it. So sometimes an opportunity, um, they're, they're saying that, you know, we don't want you to miss out on it, so don't ignore it. But they're also saying, don't try to anticipate it as if it is something materialistic, you know, because then all you're doing is focusing on, well, I have a lack of this, so this must be what it is, and I just want it now, and it's coming, and then a different opportunity comes up, and then you're like, oh, that's not what I expected, that can't be it, that's not what I want. And Archangel Metatron and Archangel Michael are saying, we know what is best for you. We know what you need. We know what gifts we want to surprise you with. So keep an open mind for new opportunities. They can also help you with um, shifting time, Archangel Metatron. And that's why this hourglass is here. I don't know if you can see it real close. Because Archangel Metatron manipulates time. He can, you know, speed it up or slow it down for you. So don't you worry about um, how long it's going to take or how fast you need to go. You're not going to miss out as long as you stay grounded. You know, you're not going to late, be late for an appointment. If you think you are, definitely ask Archangel Metatron, hey, I need, I need more time. He can help you get there faster or he can help you slow the pace. All right, let's do an animal oracle to close it out. Okay, it's all about opening up that crown chakra and staying grounded. All right. Let's get our animal oracle here. Do you have it? Recognize your significance, Archangel Gabriel. Okay, um, give me one second. I am going to pull the card for the rabbit because I know a lot of you um, comment to me that you're looking for specifics and it does have several different meanings. Okay, all right, so here's your guidance. When you bring yourself into alignment, you emit a melodious tone. Melodical. So the wisdom of the rabbit suggests you watch your thoughts and actions. Make sure they are pure, pure light and loving. Speak or sing with the intention of being in harmony with the song of the earth. Know your contribution is helping the entire universe to align it in divine right order. Okay, so again, the rabbit, alignment, sing with joy. Things aren't going your way, sing with joy. Don't let little things, trivial things bother you, right? That's what, what Archangel Michael and Metatron are helping you with. Don't worry about the little stuff, 
What's important now is the soul mission that you're on, the journey of fulfillment. Notice the unicorn here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So this unicorn really it's that's that represents love, purity, innocent. All right. My last message for you is that, you know, if you feel your efforts are insignificant in the vastness of the universe, that is so not true. Every one of us play a, a role. What you have to offer is needed. Whether you touch one, seven, hundreds, Sometimes we do things, little things, that help another person out. We don't need to see how that person was rewarded or gifted by what, what you helped them with. You weren't in it for the trophy. You were in it for the kindness of your love and giving. Which brings you joy not doing something because you think you're going to gain points from heaven. Wow, I sounded so like scolding there. Sorry about that. But they really wanted me to tell you that. They know what you do. They watch you. Every one of us have gifts. Every one of us are unique. Share that. Okay, that's all the messages I have for you. Please like, subscribe, and leave your comments. I hope everybody has a great evening. Take care, everyone.